Okay, so we have to talk about consolidation that's happening right now in the gaming industry. Big companies that are at the forefront of gaming are buying studios, publishers, left and right. Yet it's always Xbox and Sony that take the headlines away from everyone when something is purchased. So let's get into what's going to happen in 2022 and what might happen in the near future for gaming and all these studios that are up for grabs. There's a lot to talk about here, so let's just get right into it. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button and support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to be notified on future content, hit that small little bell icon. And if you want to go that extra mile to support the channel, hit that join button. Okay, so first off, this is all speculation when it comes to the next big buyouts for Microsoft and Sony. Most people might think, what else could these companies be buying? I mean, they've bought in so much already. I mean, getting Activision Blizzard and Bungie is pretty big news when you look at gaming acquisitions. To them, I have to say, this is only the beginning because there's a massive play in gaming content right now. Gaming is one of, if not the fastest growing industry in the entire world. The value of games are at an all time high and the value of the people creating those games is even higher. I mean, let's take a step back and look at just what happened in 2022, which has only been around for a month to see what type of acquisitions are happening. Here's what's happened so far. Microsoft Sony acquisitions are just the start of massive video game industry consolidation. Within the span of one month, three major video game companies made seismic acquisitions that are changing the shape of the industry. First, it was Grand Theft Auto publisher Take-Two Interactive buying mobile giant Zynga for $12.7 billion, which was at the time the biggest acquisition in the industry's history. Just over a week later, Microsoft announced plans to buy Activision Blizzard in a deal worth $68.7 billion, more than five times the size of Take-Two's record-breaking acquisition. To round out January, Microsoft competitor Sony announced its new purchase, Destiny 2 developer Bungie, for $3.6 billion. Okay, so let's just take all of that in. Not only is Take-Two Interactive making massive buyouts in the mobile gaming aspect, but the biggest acquisition in gaming history was quickly outdone by Microsoft with the $70 billion deal Xbox had with Activision Blizzard. And of course you ran things out with Sony buying Bungie. I mean, it's obvious that these things aren't going to stop. Gaming is consolidating, and most of these developers who made companies from the ground up and have talent on hand are going to sell so they can get that big buyout they've been working for. Not to mention, it helps them create even better games having a big company backing them up. Is there negatives to all of this? Of course there is. But in this video, I want to say that these acquisitions aren't going to stop at all. Something this analyst says right here. Usually acquisitions lead to more acquisitions. Lightshed Ventures analyst and partner Brandon Ross told Polygon in January, following the Microsoft announcement, you're going to see that competitive publishers and studios are now in play. The question is, who can buy them? It certainly seems like these companies aren't done buying up the market. In an interview with GamingIndustry.biz following the Bungie deal, Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO Jim Ryan said there are more moves to make at Sony with regard to acquisitions. We should absolutely expect more, Ryan said. We are by no means done with PlayStation. We have a long way to go. Oh, and you throw in Satya and Phil Spencer talking about Xbox buying even more studios to help push their platform to new heights. And so I wanted to go into some studios, publishers, and talk about what the next big buyout is going to be. Now, of course, these are rumors, and we have people like Jeff Keighley talking about deals that are in the final stages of being announced when he said this. I've heard from multiple people, as you might suspect, there are a few other big video game deals in final stages of negotiations. It's going to be an interesting year. Okay, so now that we've established that these acquisitions aren't going to stop and that both Sony and Xbox are going to fight for every single studio and publisher out there, not to mention all these other studios that are buying things, I wanted to talk about the ones I see being at the center of these battles. The first studio and publisher I want to talk about has to be WB Games. We've heard for years and years that WB wanted to sell these studios off to take off some of the financial burdens and debt that WB and AT&T had. And for a very long time, Xbox is one of the companies attached to this big buyout. 
And of course, everyone that knows anything knows that the studios at WB are extremely talented. From the Batman games that completely changed combat in the third person aspect, all the way to Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War, which to me is one of the best games of last generation. Oh, and let's not even get into the fighting games like Injustice and Mortal Kombat. That studio is extremely talented. They continually bring out some of the best games around, yet I don't think they'll get bought out in one big fell swoop like some of these other publishers are. Have a feeling that these studios might be bought up from multiple publishers. WB might cause a bidding war for each studio instead of selling them all at once. Now, of course, I could be completely wrong, and I'd be happy to, because only just two years ago, the asking price for these studios was rumored to be around $4 billion. Yet now, after seeing Sony pay close to $4 billion for just one studio in Bungie, this price point might have gone up exponentially. Yet I do have to admit that this studio and the talent here has been quiet for a very, very long time. Suicide Squad was just pushed back to 2023. The sales rumors have died down, and now people are actually kind of barely talking about WB games. Call me crazy if you want, but that's usually when things start to come out and the studios get announcements for acquisitions. It's what happened with Activision Blizzard after they stopped talking about Diablo and Overwatch 2. They didn't talk, they didn't have any BlizzCon, they didn't announce anything, and then boom, just like that, Xbox bought them up months later. So while I think Sony and Xbox might both be in the running for them, don't be surprised if we hear something about them soon, because it's been too quiet, and I have a feeling these are studios that Sony actually has a chance to get since the asking price isn't in the high billions mark. They could lock down these guys for 6 to 8 billion if the IPs are involved. Now, of course, if Microsoft gets involved or any other company like EA and even Take Two or Tencent, it could change the price and the outcome of these games. So we'll have to wait and see where this goes. But next up is the one that's been coming around and going like crazy, which is Ubisoft. I know a lot of people think Ubisoft is going to be sold any second now. There's been rumors that Ubisoft has been working with Xbox on multiple things for over two years now. That might have been just them bringing their games to Game Pass like Rainbow Six Extraction, but also bringing Ubisoft Plus, their form of Game Pass, to the Xbox consoles. Now, this is a company I think Xbox should be targeting big time. They have some of the biggest games in the industry, not to mention some of the biggest IPs in gaming. But the best thing about them is that this Ubisoft isn't that expensive when you look at what Microsoft has bought before. Bethesda was $7.8 billion and Activision Blizzard was $70 billion. Ubisoft, if you put a 50% premium on their evaluation and value, would be around $11 billion to buy outright. Probably a little bit more if the negotiations go right. I have a feeling that's not going to be that big of an ask for Xbox if they want to buy them out. And don't get me wrong, I think they will fill a huge role in the Xbox game library. They have great single player games in Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, and of course the new Star Wars game that's coming along in their big IP that they've cultivated. Oh, and not to mention Rainbow Six Siege and other big games they have under their belt that would fit the Xbox platform perfectly. Yet it's also a huge reason why Sony might target them for that much. Get them into Sony's ecosystem and they could help Sony tackle the PC market because Ubisoft does make every single game for consoles and PC platforms. So it would help Sony get into that market and establish their first party games on PC. And the price of $11 billion might be something that Sony could pull off. Yet I think the bigger issue that no one's talking about is that Ubisoft is still releasing games. They aren't quiet and they aren't pushing games back or delaying anything. They're putting their subscription service on more platforms, talking about new games they're making and building on existing games they already have. They might not want to sell to anyone, and that's something I feel is lost in these acquisition talks. Both parties need to be interested. Right now, Ubisoft might not be interested in anyone. Yet I think they might be persuaded with all of these new acquisitions happening and the amount of money and studios and publishers are selling for. Don't be surprised if this happens. Now, I know most people will want to talk about EA and Take Two, but I have a feeling they might not sell at all. Don't get me wrong, if there's any of these publishers I see it happening to, it's EA. Especially since they've been having a very hard time managing their talent and putting some of the most worst games and releases out in a long time. I'm looking at you, Battlefield 2042. So while I don't see them selling, I have a feeling they would be the most likely out of the two, especially since Take-Two Interactive just bought Zynga and is operating at a very high level when it comes to the gaming market. Now, of course, there's Capcom and Konami which would respectively go for 10 billion and 11.5 billion. Those could be something that Xbox looks into because they really want to get a strong foothold in the Japanese gaming market. 
Not to mention, those studios do have some big name IPs and have brought out some big games. So I wouldn't be surprised to hear some of those studios finding new homes in the near future. Either way, this consolidation of the industry isn't going to stop. Big studios, small studios, big publishers, small publishers are going to be joining one of the big gaming names no matter what. There's a lot of money being pushed around right now from everyone. So it's only a matter of time before something big happens again. And it's going to happen for every studio and publisher around. I'm excited to see what happens because it's the first time everyone, including Sony, is going to open up their platform. We're seeing more multi-platform gaming from Sony and Xbox and everywhere else. I love to see this because I don't want to be locked down on one device. I want to play my games where I want to play them. Not to mention, it helps reward a lot of the people that created these studios by getting them the buyouts they worked so hard for. Because at the end of the day, as a gamer, we just want to play games. Yet for these people creating the games, it's about being rewarded for creating some of our favorite experiences. I can't wait to see who's next, and I can't wait to see how this all falls out, because right now the gaming industry is in a very drastic changing point, and I'm loving every single second of it because it's big business and gaming is just growing even more. But enough of what I think about this. Tell me what you think about this. Do you think Ubisoft is going to be the next buyout? Is WB going to be one of the studios we see bought out? Who do you think is the next big name to come off the list? Will we see more studios being bought out by Sony, Xbox, or even Tencent? Or will we see even more publishers start being created to create more games and then get bought out later? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button to support us out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zocker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zocker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. So right now, I've been knee deep into Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm having a blast with it. I'm trying to get it done before Forbidden West comes out because I want to play both of them back to back because I'm finding the story pretty cool. The gameplay is really good, but the only downfall is I'm playing this on PC and I'm loving it. I think it runs perfectly on there. I think it's optimized perfectly on there. I love playing with my controller and I also like playing with the mouse and keyboard with it. It kind of sucks that I'm gonna have to go to the PS5 and be locked down there. I wish this was a multi-platform release on PC so I could play it there instead, but I have a PS5 so I'll get to play it there. And I've been playing Rainbow Six Extraction, having a lot of fun of that with my buddies. I've been playing a lot of World of Warcraft, and I'm working through the StarCraft campaign because I'm having a blast with that. This whole Blizzard thing getting bought out by Xbox has revitalized me. Blizzard's back. I'm kind of happy. I want to see what they do. And we saw the reports of them making a new game. So, hey, let's hope this starts giving us more Blizzard games because that's what I want. But tell me what you're playing. Are you on your PC, your Xbox Series X, or are you on your PS5? Or are you waiting for something like Dying Light 2, which I'm going to be playing with my buddies? Let me know down below, because that's what we're here for. Let's talk games. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.